All I want is anything. I like to be asked. I don't want to ask. Ready? Is it the risk? That's okay. No, I think it's more of a question. I like to go back. I like to go back to the culture. I, you know, I like the questions about Lloyd's lifestyle, which he's entitled to live. In other words, he's not stealing money. He's earning money, and he can spend the money any way he pleases. And the difference between his lifestyle and Pacquiao's lifestyle, with all the charities that many contributes to, that is an essential difference in what's happening in the world. That's what people are talking about, about this one percent. People who make extraordinary amounts of money and are, make, are becoming richer and richer and spending it on things like yachts and uh, mansions and other things. Not, not bad because it helps stimulate the economy. And the other point of view is that we have to take sizable amounts even from those people involuntarily by higher taxes and feed and do things for the less fortunate. That's what this fight, in essence, symbolizes. It's the people that say, no matter how much these CEOs are making as against their employees, as at vis a vis no matter how much these people are making on Wall Street, God forbid, don't tax them, let them keep their money, and let them spend it on things to stimulate the economy. Or the other position is you have to raise taxes on those people to raise funds to improve Medicare and other security blanket that people have to have to live decent lives. That's what this fight is about. Symbolizes, and I, I mean, I don't want to get dramatic, but that's why this fight has a similar type cultural as the Ali Fraser fight, where Ali couldn't fight for three and a half years and opposed the Vietnam War, and the country was turning to his belief. And Fraser was, unfortunately for Joe, was made to be like a, a spokesman for the war, which he was. So there was a huge culture clash in that fight. That's what really makes an event like a prize fight really super interesting, besides who has a better left or a right or a better defense and that kind of thing. That is good. Let the sports writers canoodle about that. But for me, the cultural issues are what's important. Well, you know, in a way, I, I thought about this too. Uh, I know that Manny gives away a lot of money, you know, God bless him for it. But one of the things he's doing, you know, and he has a he certainly has a right, he can, can be taxed plenty, about 36% for what he for his purse here. But one of the things he's doing is he's transferring money from uh, the U.S. and giving it to poor people in the yeah, so why? And he's the conduit. But it's after tax money. And, right. It's, it, no, I, I think it's a nice thing, but it's, it's what's happening. It's true. Because yeah. I mean, if you come from a poor country, you want to help them. Right. And, and as a Filipino, his first obligation is to look after the people in the Philippines, the poor people from whence he came. And that's a corrupt society. That's the only bad thing about it all.
Bob, I'm sorry. Can you clarify? So you think this is a political fight? You think? No, I think I think the cultural ramifications in this fight are what people are beginning to understand is what makes it so interesting. Are you on the right side of that equation? I don't know what's right or wrong. I know which side I'm on. Which is? I'm on Pacquiao's side. <laughs> Thanks, Bob. Is that cultural significance? Excuse me a little bit about Floyd. You know, everyone talks about Floyd. It's very technical, but he's not a very exciting style. Now, I was just wondering from your perspective, what, why does he sell? Because he's very, very clever the way he markets himself. So, a lot of people support his fights because they like him, they like that image. And a lot of people hate him, but still buy his fights because they want to see him lose. So is that kind of like that wrestling mentality that you have to play the heel and that's what sells it? Well, not really. No, but, but he's been very clever at the way he marks. He uses social media very well. He's kind of getting credit. How, how much of that is dependent on the undefeated record? Because if he was like had one or two records, nobody losses? gives a shit. Nobody cares about it. It's the persona. It's the way he sells himself, which is responsible for his popularity. Oh, but I guess I'm going to try and say, would that persona still be able to sell with a loss or two losses? I don't. Who knows? I don't know. I don't know what. I mean, he's very clever at marketing, mm -hmm. so he might be able to pull it off with two losses or three losses. I don't know. I don't know. I wouldn't write him off. And then, just to follow up, what makes Manny sell? He's, he's a very popular, you know, the great, the ultimate good guy. But he is. He, Manny Pacquiao is somebody that, that people admire, and he doesn't do anything so they wouldn't admire and he's become larger than life because he's a Filipino, has this tremendous Filipino fan base, and because of the way he conducts himself. What about his charisma, too? Because I know some people call him like the smiling warrior. There's just something about him that's... Well, uh, sure. I think all of that helps, yeah. It's a whole package. You said you've been fond of him. Yeah, you've been fond of him, and you put him up there with Ali. What is, what is it about him that makes him special? To be as a person, those? as a person, I couldn't give a damn. I could not, that's not right. I mean, I'm not referring to his boxing ability. I'm referring to him as a person, and I find him to be one of the best people that I've ever run into. Thank you, Bob. Thank you. What makes me so? What's been his appeal? That people can cross over to just boxing. To transcend boxing. It is funny because I think a lot of brands say, oh, well, I won't be affiliated with boxing, then I will go for Manny Pacquiao. And then the question becomes why? Because not only is he the best, arguably the best boxer in the world, he is humble. He's a family man, he's fun. He's a great brand ambassador. He's got energy. He'll come in over the Liverpool brands. He can meet the brand CEOs. He'll do all these kinds of things. And I mean, that's what a brand wants, right? A brand wants an upstanding citizen, a guy who's charismatic, a guy who's well versed in a lot of things. He can be a congressman, a, a stupid idler, a basketball player, a singer, a, a, you know, the best, one of the best boxers in the world, and a family man. So, and a lot of things to relate to because of all these things he's involved with. Yeah. So even if people don't really want to be affiliated with comments, we're still still like and it's also his persona too. I guess uh, I heard Lee always called him the smiling warrior because of his smile and he well, just, I, I want to say, I mean, he is. He's, he's an infectious man, but he also is. He's the fan favorite when he goes. I mean, and the public knows that. So they feel okay putting their arms around him. Even if he loses, because of the, you know, even if he loses, those fans are still going to say, we love him. You know? Well, yeah, because you're not. You're not now I'm going to take a look at the counter. It's a lot more transparent what, that way. Why does Floyd sell so well? I don't know if that's just the way that this works. Well, I would argue the opposite. Floyd's the corporate America. 
way the, the sport has, uh, so the way the recipe is made the pie. Um, you know, I don't think he does a lot of endorsement deals, and that could be just like, because he doesn't want to. Um, or it could be lack of interest from the corporate America. I don't really know that. Um, I, think I guess I'm thinking about sell in terms of pay-per-view numbers, too. Absolutely. I mean, you know, again, he, he's arguably one of the best marketers in the world, too. So, you know, it becomes... And I think he's well, a fantastic marketer. I think he's you know, Manny markets in a different way. I mean, he's a fantastic marketer, but Floyd gets out there and he markets his own way and he uses social media really well and he does a lot of things that garner a lot of fans and keep his image out there and um, he can garner support every day. So, you know, he does a good job. You know, I was going to ask you this. I don't know if this is fair or not, but it seems like Floyd... Because he can be ostentatious, he could be a guy that people cheer against. And to me, that always reminds me of like wrestling. Because when you play the heel, the people are passionately watching, and then they're watching, hoping that you'll lose. Does so that fair to say that part of Floyd's appeal, or do you think that's too simple? Yeah. In this, I, I, you know, Floyd likes to talk about smack. So when you have someone who talks smack, you think, okay, well, I'd love for him to, you know. Right. I think usually in boxing it's interesting because people are very supportive of the winner or whoever it is or the winner. Um, in this case, I think a lot of people did love to see Manny Pacquiao win this fight for many reasons. Not only Manny Pacquiao, but for the fact that you know Floyd's never lost this fight and he's and he talks a lot of smack. So I mean, you know, we'll see if he wins. Win or lose, though. It's all, you know, we hope it's a great event. We hope that there's a lot of fun in the event. We hope it's a crowd pleasing event and that the crowds will return and, and, and promote the sport of boxing as well. Floyd was, I mean, uh, Manny was great yesterday and uh, highly questionable. <laughs> I thought he was really funny. I thought that was great. Probably the best interview he's I've seen from him in a while. Right? Yeah, well, I think it's also the, the right guy's interviewing him, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. No, no problem.